Hello, hello, Sarah Brightlander here. I am the co-owner of Crane Luxury Real Estate located in the Guanacaste region of Costa Rica. Today, I want to talk about travel updates to Costa Rica. It is June 30th, and so I thought this would be really helpful because I get a ton of questions from my clients, um, from you all wanting to know the status of Costa Rica, how to get here, how to get back. Um, so if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and we'll try to do more of these informational videos as we go along. So, updates travel to Costa Rica. I guess we should talk about flying in general. For anyone who has flown recently, you will know it is very utilitarian. It is a no frills kind of flight. You have to wear your mask the entire time. Um, they come around and they give you like a pre-bag set of some water, maybe some pretzels. So um, it's not that much fun. There are no alcoholic beverages served. There's no beer, there's no wine. Some water, crust of bread, you're off. <laughs> but um, hey, it serves its purpose. You get to Costa Rica. And once you get here, you'll see everything's open. We can arrange transportation from the airport um, to wherever you're staying. You can also rent cars. So once you get here, you'll be just fine. Um, but that is what to expect on a flight to Costa Rica. Uh, let's talk first about what you do not need to come to Costa Rica. You do not need proof of a negative COVID test. Um, so that's, uh, that's wonderful. That's a wonderful thing. So coming in can be much easier because of that. Now you do need proof of a negative COVID test upon return. That's something that's mandated by the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control. So um, when you go back, you will need an proof of a negative COVID test within 72 hours of travel. And that is a big question my clients have. You know, even our vacationers that stay at our Crane vacation rental homes or my real estate clients that are coming in. Can I get that test? Is that readily accessible? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, there is rapid testing available at the Liberia International Airport. And I'm going to be speaking in terms of Liberia International Airport, not San Jose, um, simply because we're in the Guanacaste region of Costa Rica. And so this is our territory. So this is, this is where we live and this is where the majority of our clients are coming in. But there's rapid testing available um, before you leave. Uh, so you, you can literally go to the airport on your way out, get the rapid testing, check in, and it'll be finished before you have to go through security. Even though that exists, um, most of my clients don't like to wait. They feel like they're waiting last minute. It makes them nervous. So um, if, if that's you, that's okay too. Uh, Beachside Clinic, which is one of my favorite uh, medical clinics in the area, is located uh, between Tamarindo and Flamingo. It's about 10 minutes from Flamingo. Um, they offer um, the, the, the test so you can get it done there. Also, um, even here in the Crane offices of Potrero, there's a satellite office of uh, Beachside Clinic, so you can schedule your test here in this area. They even offer in-home service if you make appointments. And I always say, if you are a Crane vacationer, staying, you know, we, we manage over 100 homes in the area. If you're staying with us as a vacationer or you're one of our real estate clients, let us do it. I always say we're not, a, we're not a real estate company, we're not a property management company. We do everything, whatever you need help with, we're happy, happy to do that for you. So most of our clients give us a call, give one of our staff members a call and say, hey, I need a COVID test. We fill out the forms, we make the appointment for you, and it's just that easy. Uh, we've never had a problem with it, knock on wood. Um, so that is what you need to return. Now, quarantine. There's, first of all, there's no requirement for quarantining back in the United States once you return. There's no requirement for quarantining in Costa Rica if you come. I know my Canadian clients are in a bit of a different, uh, quite a conundrum. I'm not going to address that in this uh, video because that could be a whole other video. And from what my Canadian clients and friends tell me, that could be like a 30 minute to an hour long video. Um, and I know it changes. So just if, uh, if you're traveling, uh, in returning to Canada, check those updated requirements for quarantining. But for my US clients coming in or out, no problem at all. Um, so that's what you, you don't need a COVID test to come to Costa Rica. What do you need to come to Costa Rica? Well, you need to fill out a health pass. Uh, very simple to do. You go online, um, that address is https colon forward slash forward slash salud, S-A-L-U-D dot go dot cr 
That's the website you need to go to. You just need to fill out this online form 72 hours uh, before your departure, and you, or within 72 hours of departure, um, and you need one form per person, and that includes minors. So if you're traveling with your family, each family member needs their own individual form. Again, quite, quite simple to do. And then you do need COVID insurance. Okay, what is COVID insurance? This is mandatory travel insurance that is going to cover your medical expenses in the event that you get COVID while you're in the country. It also covers lodging in the event you need to quarantine because you tested positive for COVID. So, you know, it seems like the responsible thing to do. It protects you. It also protects the, um, the medical care industry down here by having this coverage. How do you get this? Uh, insurance. If you Google um, medical insurance for COVID, uh, all of these international companies will come up. All you need is your uh, the names, uh, the ages, uh, and the dates of travel in Costa Rica. So there are various international insurance companies that offer coverage for COVID. But remember, there are Costa Rica, uh, Costa Rican insurance companies that can do it for cheaper. Why? Because the the international uh, health insurance generally sets the minimum coverage at $50,000. That's the general rule. But Costa Rica doesn't require $50,000 in coverage because remember the, the medical care here is, is extremely um, quality and it's also cheap, right? It's extremely affordable. So Costa Rica only requires $20,000 minimum coverage. So these Costa Rican insurance companies know this and they can issue a policy based on that $20,000 uh, coverage, which means it's usually cheaper. So what we use, the company we always use is INS, that's capital I-N-S, INS. Um, again, if you're staying at one of our homes or you're one of our clients, just let us do it. Literally send us an email. Uh, we will take care of everything for you, uh, tell you the amount, issue the policy, and you can make the payment. It's just that easy. So that's our goal is to make your, your life here in Costa Rica easy, either your, your visit or, or your, your move here. Um, so those are the two basic things that you need to come down. Um, and then finally, I just kind of wanted to end because I get asked this all the time, you know, the status of Costa Rica in terms of COVID, uh, in terms of vaccines and in terms of the variant. So um, in terms of COVID, generally the stats basically to date are that um, a little over 4,600 people have died of COVID related illnesses. Um, and currently there are 440 people about in intensive care. And I hate to speak about those morbid numbers, um, but I think generally speaking, relatively speaking, uh, compared to the rest of the world, those are pretty darn good. Um, and we're very proud of that. Um, in terms of vaccines, um, as of yesterday, um, there have been over 2.3 million doses of the vaccine given. So we're very proud of that. All of the elderly um, have, have been vaccinated. Uh, the middle aged have been vaccinated. I will tell you that in terms of Crane employees, we have a pretty rather large company and, and many of our team members, much younger than I am, have been vaccinated and we're, we're super proud of that. In fact, there's a big push today. So you are literally seeing this, this, this you know, day to day vaccination. We're all very excited about that. Um, but even before then, you know, life was, I think very much normal compared to what I hear about other parts of the world, and I'll get to that in a minute. But that's kind of the state of the current status of the vaccines here. Um, and finally, the variant. Um, I'm happy to report that as of June 28th, two days ago, the Costa Rica Institute that does this type of research and the major newspapers um, announced that there is no evidence of the, the Delta variant in Costa Rica. So that's been a, a relief for everyone. And uh, finally, just want to talk to you about what's happening in my neck of the woods. Again, I, I'm not going to speak to San Jose. That can be a whole different world sometimes, but I can speak to our life here in Guanacaste. Um, I mean, life is pretty much back to normal. It's, it's, we've got it pretty good here. I think we've been very blessed to be here during this whole time of craziness. Um, there are still driving restrictions. So basically, um, 
you look at the last number of your license plate and if that's an even or an odd, that's, those are the days you can drive. So you can drive every other day based on whether the last number in your license plate is even or odd. That's really the, the main restriction, um, but you get used to it. You know you can drive on certain days or not. It's kind of always in your thought process. Um, the, 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 rationa, the, the logic behind it is not that you're gonna be really contracting or, or giving the virus because of your driving, but it's really an attempt to keep more people off the road for less traffic accidents in order to kind of free up that medical care to attend to the COVID patients, right? That's the rationale, which, which makes sense. Um, and then there are a lot of exceptions to the driving rules. So if you're working, um, you can have a letter from your employer that exempts you if you need to drive because of work. Um, also, if you're a parent and you're taking your children to school, you also have a letter from your school that says, I can drive my children to and from school um, every day of the week, you know, of course, just for that purpose. Um, so those are the exceptions there. Um, the clinics, kind of the state of where we are, you know, are the clinics overloaded? I can tell you here in Guanacaste, I mean, you know, I don't know if we're just insulated, but we really haven't noticed any kind of, of, of surge or the clinics being too full. You could walk into Beachside Clinic or other clinics, reputable clinics here in the area. You can still make doctor's appointments, um, minor surgeries. You can still get lab blood work done, dentist. I mean, you know, I, we haven't seen anything where you're turned away because they're overwhelmed with, with COVID cases. Um, at all, so that's really nice. Masks, um, people still wear masks to go to the grocery, to go to the banks, basically any indoor business that's, you know, the public goes into, uh, they do expect you to wear a mask. But as far as like the restaurants, remember we're in Costa Rica with this amazing weather, so all of the dining options, you, they're all outside, maybe covered areas, but they're all open air spaces. So you just wear your mask, you know, walking up, um, to the greeter and then once you sit at your table you're you can take off your mask and enjoy the the fresh ocean breezes and the sunsets and it feels very normal and wonderful the beaches are open um, the parks are open again when you walk up um, to the person to pay your ticket you're going to be wearing your mask and then as soon as you're done with that you can take your masks off in the, in the park and enjoy the fresh air and the hiking. So that's the state of things here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you can get down to see us. If you have any questions, give us a call. Let us know how we can help. Um, again, my name is Sarah Brightlander and I hope you have a great day and put a Vita.